Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. So in my last video where I discussed the new Sonic the Hedgehog and the Nintendo NX and third parties announcing and revealing all the games before Nintendo's even showed us the system, I received a pretty good question from a user. It's a new user, actually, somebody who I'd never seen before. And I thought it was a good question, something that I wanted to answer, and I was like, this is maybe a perfect opportunity for me to bring back a long dead segment, which is the question corner, the user's question corner, which is something I really liked doing for a while. And then when I moved a couple of months ago, it just was a format and a, um, a segment, I should say, that I just never really had a chance to come back to, which is too bad. And I was like, hey, great question. Let me go ahead and do a question corner and give this person a shout out and respond to their Nintendo related question. So the user is Landon Hewlett. Again, someone who I've never heard of, but Landon, thank you so much for checking out the video and for asking me a question and giving me a reason to make a whole new video and bring back the question corner. That's really exciting, dude. So thank you so much again to YouTube user Landon Hewlett for this question. And it's about Nintendo and it's about the NX. No big surprise. It's the hot topic that we all love to talk about, uh, myself included, of course. So here is what Landon asks me. He said, Rob, here's a good topic possibly for your next video. Should Nintendo focus on the casual? Sorry, it's kind of uh, missing some words in the question. Uh, should Nintendo focus on the casuals or the core gamers as the primary audience for the Nintendo NX or for both? And he says that he came up on, came up this topic due to Pokemon Go's success. So he basically, because of Pokemon Go's success, that gave him reason to ask the question. So again, great question, Landon. Thank you so much. Should Nintendo focus on more on the casuals or the hardcore gamer for the Nintendo NX? Pretty basic question. Pretty obvious question that a lot of us have been wondering for a while. And uh, it's an important question because if we look at the history of Nintendo going from the GameCube to the Wii to now the Wii U and where that stands and what we think might be happening with the NX in this period where the NX is still a mystery, it's an important question because this could impact Nintendo greatly based on what they decide to do. And there's what I want to happen, which is probably what a lot of you guys are going to also want, which is for Nintendo to not do anything on the casual side. I think that they should probably just, for the most part, leave the casual gamer behind because as we all know, it seems like the casual gamer left Nintendo behind. The gamers that they adopted with the Wii and that success, those guys and gals seem to have left Nintendo behind and maybe even left gaming behind. So a lot of us have the sentiment that Nintendo, we would like for Nintendo to just move on from that casual market and don't make games catered to those people. Don't make games and consoles and experiences geared towards that kind of gamer because they really don't care. And when you separate that and say, well, what do we want them to do and what should they do? The answer is a little bit different, but it's also not entirely different. Okay, so here's the thing. Should Nintendo leave the casuals behind or focus on the casuals going forward? Casuals are hardcore. Yes, we want them to move away from the casuals, but should they? So yes and no is the answer to that. And I know it's not always fun to have that kind of gray area sort of response where it's not really a response, but there really are two sides to that argument. Um, obviously, there's a side to still catering to the casuals to a degree with the Nintendo NX because the casuals can be a huge market, as evidenced by the Nintendo Wii and some of those really big games like what Carnival Games and Wii Play and stuff like that, Wii Sports that did so well for Nintendo, and also... I have to say it, as evidenced by something like Pokemon Go. Now, yes, Pokemon Go is different because it's a mobile game, but it doesn't really matter because the people who play mobile games on the scale of hundreds of millions of users are casual gamers and they're casual players. And those are the kinds of people that, just like Nintendo did with the Wii, if you, if you rope some of them into your actual core console gaming market, there's a lot of success potentially to be had and a crap ton of money to be made. Again, as Nintendo saw with the Wii in that audience. So it's tricky because this question of whether or not Nintendo should focus on the core or the casual gamer with the NX, there's precedence to it. And it sort of opens up the avenue of understanding that, you know what, the casual gamer unfortunately, and I stress the word unfortunately, the casual gamer does have some pull and does have some value. Um, you know, at the end of the day, all of these companies, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, all the third-party developers, they are in it to make money. They have to make money to exist, to be successful, to continue making more products that we're going to love or hate or whatever. They have to make money. It's what keeps them around. So we have to acknowledge that sometimes they maybe have to make a business decision that we might not love, or maybe that I don't love, or maybe you don't love. But if it ultimately is good for the bottom line, 
there's a reason for it. And there has to be a place for these companies to safely make decisions that maybe we don't agree with as their core target audience, but still has value and merit to the company to keep them around. The trick is what you can't do is maybe sacrifice who you are and completely change your identity and change your business model. So if Nintendo were to completely abandon the, the core gamer, if we want to call them that stuff, you know, people like you and me, if they wanted to completely abandon us for the sake of the mobile market and the casual games, that's a problem. But if they can continue this core gaming market business model where they're still making very powerful machines, hopefully, and they're still giving us great core games like Metroids and Zeldas and brand new games and, and Splatoons and, you know, whatever, these kind of games that we actually care about, if they keep making those, then it doesn't really hurt anyone for them to adopt and maybe focus a little bit on the casual market. I think that there is potential value there. As I said, the casual gamer has proven that they can aid the gaming market, the gaming industry, by being very large in number and willing to spend a lot of money with very little research. That's why they all bought the Wii, because of the one thing that was cool, and it turns out that it only took them two months to get bored with it and no longer care. Now, on the flip side to that, obviously... Obviously, Nintendo should still ultimately focus on the core gamer. I think that's what I would like to happen. I think that's what they should do. Because even though the casual gamer has proven to have some value, I think that at the end of the day, Nintendo has even outwardly said that they learned this lesson. I brought this up in a video recently. At the end of the day, because the casual gamer has no allegiance and no loyalty, they don't really, they shouldn't really matter, I should say. I, I, when you look at the fact that Nintendo spent so much time roping in all of these people and all these casual gamers and saw so much money at, initially, but then all those gamers went away, which was one of the things that led to Nintendo making weird decisions with the Wii U that they probably shouldn't have made because they wanted to still attract those casual gamers, but then they learned, oh, those casual gamers don't give a shit. They're gone. They're not paying attention. They don't know what the Wii U is, nor would they ever care. Suddenly, that's one of the several problems that has led to Nintendo being in the situation they are and led to the Wii U being in the unfortunate situation it is of being incredibly unsuccessful and Nintendo having to abandon ship very soon, course correct, and come out with this new system probably sooner than they would have intended. That happened because they banked too much on these casual gamers that, yes, initially had value with a lot of money and success, but then went away completely and were nowhere to be seen when Nintendo tried to capitalize on that and do the next big thing. And I think that sucks. That shows that... I don't care how much money you can make from the casual gamer at the end of the day, they're not worth it. They're not worth our time. Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, they're not really worth your time. I think that you can focus a little bit on them and try to do a couple of things to rope in the occasional casual gamer, like a Pokemon Go, maybe, or one or two console games that are like a Just Dance or whatever that gets those people in. That's fine, but at the end of the day, I think that not only is focusing on the core gamer the thing that we want, I think that really, even though there's value with the casual gamer, still, Nintendo, you should focus on the core gamer. And I, I went in that whole diatribe about the value of casual gamers to try to show that I'm not trying to just pull, like, the blinded, hardcore gaming fanboy that's just like, well, I like core games, so that's just what they should do just because I like it. No, it is what they should do, but not just because I like it, because it actually is smart business-wise. Yes, you can make money with those casual people, but they, they just don't matter. Focusing on the core gamer is focusing on the gamer that's loyal and has allegiance. Like I said, the casual gamer doesn't have. You know, the, these, these gamers that stick around and buy all the new Halos and the new Zeldas and the new Uncharted's every time these games come out, and the new Mario's in the millions, even though Mario definitely veers towards casual as well. Mario is, is both hardcore and casual, I think. But still, these games, they all sell so well, they review so well, everyone loves them, they keep the industry and their respective companies going, and it's because of gamers like myself, gamers like you, and gamers like fans of these franchises and these companies are always going to be there day one to support these new experiences because that's what's kept us in love with gaming we've been we've been fans of gaming since we were kids as opposed to the people that just jumped on board with the wii and tried to get on board with the connect and all these things who were just like oh this is a cool thing for a little bit but now i'm done off to the next shiny thing you know those people they don't care enough to stick around but we do we remember growing up with old Zelda games, and like the first Halo game, and back in the Atari when those things were around, and all these great things, when Rare was a great thing during the fifth gen, I guess it would be. Like, we've been around long enough to know that when the next hot thing comes out, we care about it. We want it to color our gaming palette because we game for a hobby. 
you know, as like a lifetime hobby. It's what we do. We care about it. And that has more value than the casual people that will jump on board and spend a bunch of money one time and then be gone forever. You got to rope in and hold those gamers that really care and are going to be lifelong dedicated to the hobby. Because if you're dedicated to the hobby, by proxy, you end up being dedicated to the companies you like that make great products within that hobby you like, which for me is Nintendo, and also Naughty Dog, and also Microsoft with stuff like Halo, and I like Bungie's Destiny and things like that, and you're going to have your own list of games and companies within the hobby of gaming that you love that mean the most to you, that keep you invested and keep you gaming and keep you coming back. So long story short, coming back around to the point of this topic, when it comes to what Nintendo could be doing, because they're the one with the history both in the core gaming sense and in the casual gaming sense, we're now seeing the Wii U fade out, we're coming up into this virgence with the NX, what are they going to do once they get here and they have to actually reveal and release the NX and make it something that gamers want to purchase? Yes, there is that tiny little value to the casual gamer, as I've said a hundred times already, but Nintendo the core gamer, us, the true fans, both Nintendo fans and core gamers who maybe aren't really Nintendo fans, we're the ones you should be focusing on. Not just because I want it to be for my own selfish reasons, but because it actually is smart business-wise. We're going to be the ones who are your largest audience and happiest to buy your games day one and give you our money for all the products you make that we love. This is the market that you should be catering to at the end of the day. You should be focusing most on that core gamer. I think Nintendo knows it. If you play on nostalgia the right way, like releasing an NES Mini and stuff like that, we're the ones that are going to buy that stuff like crazy because it, it brings up our memories of being kids and playing the NES. For those of us who are maybe old enough to do so, a lot of gamers nowadays aren't, of course, which is sad to me, but it is what it is. Um, you know, I think that Nintendo knows... That And this is the benefit of the Wii U. This is what I've talked about this before. And this is the benefit of those casual gamers coming and going is I think Nintendo has learned, man, you know, that was cool for like a hot minute when all those people jumped on board and we made a shit ton of money with the Wii, but they left us so fast. They left us high and dry and our Wii U failed. And again, there's many reasons why the Wii U failed. Despite my love of the system, there's many reasons. But one of them is Nintendo believing that those casual gamers were going to stick around. Nintendo has learned those casual gamers didn't stick around. It's what helped lead into the Wii U's failure. And now Nintendo's been like, wow, those sons of bitches just totally up and left. And look at our Wii U. It's, it's a disaster and we have to abandon ship. And that sucks. Where did those gamers go? Maybe we shouldn't focus on them anymore. Maybe they don't actually mean anything. And again... Either Miyamoto or Iwata had said this in the last two years that, wow, we really learned that those casual gamers aren't as valuable as we initially thought. They don't stick around. They don't buy your products. They're not loyal to us or to any gaming company. There's no reason to really focus on those people anymore. So I believe that Nintendo will be doing that with the NX. I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see whenever Nintendo finally shows us the damn thing, as I say on every NX video. Um, but I think that they've learned this, and I think that they're going to be focusing on the core gamer. And if they're smart, they will. And when they reveal the NX, they're going to show us, hey, here's this Metroid you've been waiting for. Here's this new shooter IP. Here's some great third-party content. Here's, you know, the next Call of Duty and the next Destiny and all these different things. Here's this stuff that you core gamers want, both from us and from third parties, because hopefully we're fixing third-party relations. So... Interesting topic. Great question. Again, very simple and obvious question. It's been discussed before, but I, I like the idea of being able to answer this question directly and kind of put my two cents into this whole core gamer, casual gamer discussion when it specifically relates to Nintendo and the NX and what they might be doing. So, of course, I want to hear what you guys think. I feel like it's going to be pretty heavily one-sided on Nintendo should focus on the core gamer. But again, as I spent time discussing, I think it was important to do this and give voice to this side of the argument. Casual gamers have had value in the past, and they probably do still have value. Again, Pokemon Go is what gave uh, Landon here a reason to ask his question and consider what would be most important for Nintendo going forward with the NX, the casual or the core gamer. And it's a good question. And I, as much as I think Nintendo could, should, and probably will focus on the core gamer, there is a huge possibility that they won't, or that they have a huge emphasis on the casual gamer as well. So we'll wait and see whenever Nintendo finally shows it. Share your thoughts below, guys. Tell me what do you think Nintendo should do going forward with the NX, core gamer, casual gamer. Share your thoughts. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys, to this new question corner. I'm going to try to do more. If you want, ask a question below, and maybe I'll do it on another video as well and give you your own shout-out on a future question corner video. But that is all for today, guys. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I'll catch you guys next time on another video.